today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this Alpet Pets Portable Travel Carrier. Now this is soft sided and it's made out of wool felt. So it's kind of a stiff wool felt here that's pretty thick and durable. Um, and then there is a cushioning on the inside. Now this can be changed and adjusted into various ways. Now as you can see from my very large cat here, she weighs over 20 pounds and is a large cat. So as far as trying to carry her in this, the base here is not completely solid. It's still that wool, so there's not a whole lot of support there on the base. So for her, she's very, very large, and I think she would just pull to the center. Um, this is probably better to be used as a pet carrier um, for a small dog, a tiny cat, small kitten. If you've got a large animal like this, it's really not ideal for actually carrying them. Um, but you can adjust this. Right now, it's set up to look like um, a little tunnel fort area so small cats and dogs can go in through the hole and be able to hide there. And as you can see, it's triangular and pretty small. For her, she's really attracted to it. She wants to go and be by it, but she goes and kind of like lays on it or puts her head in it because she can't quite squeeze her body in here. There is, this material is right here. So as you can see, it's not very large on the inside when it's like this, but it is adjustable to be a larger pet bed. So don't feel like this is just for the tiniest of pets. We're still using this for her. And even when I've got it set up like this, she wants to get into it, but just can't. So she just kind of lays on it. So she likes it, which is always a good thing. And she'll be able to lay in it well when we fold it out into a bed, as I'll show you here in a minute. So when you use it as a carrier, you have your pet go inside here. And this zips closed, like so. So you've got two zippers that go the whole way around. Okay, and then that just unzippers and there's a roll up flap, as you can see, that pulls out and snaps into place here to keep that door open, should you want to use it that way. Okay, so if you want to fold this out into a pet bed, let me just show you how this works here. It will snap open like so, and then these sides also snap open so that you have a large square. Now that still kind of folds in on itself, so what you want to do is fold it down. And this has felt kind of awkward for me to actually get it into the pet bed shape. So I'll show you the way that I found is worse best. If you start on one of the large sides with the handles and fold down first, and you can fold that down really as low as you'd like to go. Okay, and then go to the side here and fold. So you've got that crease there. And then kind of pull tight. Okay, and then the other side. Okay, so kind of fold it, fold down that side, and then pull the corners tight. And um, there's that natural crease. I've had mine folded up for a while, so it kind of puckers in a little bit, but with time that will space out. Okay. So there you have it, and then it is just a simple pet box shaped bed. And you have this liner on the inside, which is blanket soft, okay? And that just sits and it sticks pretty well. It clings pretty well at the bottom. What I like about that liner being able to be removed is I feel like this um, kind of wool felt that I could keep clean pretty easily, but should that bank blanket get kind of gross because I have a very hairy cat that happens to be very smelly as well. Usually pet beds, she gets like litter and stuff in them and they start looking gross after time. I can take that pet blanket out and wash it easily or replace it and put something else in there. So I like that about it. And before you wander off, oh, oh my goodness, stop. She's not being very friendly today. Let me just show you that 
Even this large one can fit in here. See, there you go. What do you think about that? See, that's how you can fit in it. Okay, and as you can see, that even for my large cat, she does like to curl up in small spaces. So if I put out a small box, she will cram herself into it, even if it is smaller than this. So it's a nice tight fitted area that I'm sure she just enjoys being in. So she likes to lay in it this way. And there she is. And you, she can easily jump in and out of it. And it is kind of soft and collapsible. You have some firmness here, but you may need to like reshape it and fix the sides from time to time because it can just be folded easily into so many different shapes. But yes, this is how I'm using mine most as a, cat, a pet bed. Should we ever have a smaller cat or a small dog that this could easily be used as a carrier if you don't have a humongous 20 pound animal. Um, then you can easily fold that up and use it as carrier. So it's kind of convenient that you can take their bed, their comfort place where they feel comfortable, and fold that up, put it in your car, travel with them, and then wherever you are, you've got their bed with them. So if they are really attached to like a comfortable place, that's going to help them if they move from location to location. So there are definitely a lot of good qualities about this pet bed um, that you can be able to do different things with it. Uh, but that's it and folds up to a nice little box that can be out of the way in your room. I like the gray color, how neutral it is, that I don't feel like it's an ugly thing to have out in my family room. And this is a definitely a great thing for us to have out in our family room space to prevent her from laying on the furniture and couches and getting them all covered in hair. But she still has a soft place that she can curl up for herself and she can also duck underneath and hide from little ones that are trying to pull at her. So. That is the pet bed, and I'm sure that my cat, when she's not quite so grumpy, will be enjoying this much more.